Hi, I'm Dr. Luria. I know you're here today for a procedure, but first, let's review your medical consent form. It's going to be broken up into two parts. First, we'll review briefly the release treatment and then the sleeve treatment. Okay, and then after, we'll do the filler portion. All right. So let's start off with the release. Now, the release, also called suspensory ligament release, is a minor surgical procedure. Okay. And the purpose of it is to increase the erect length, okay? Now keep in mind, anytime you mention the word surgery, even if it's a little cut on the hand, or it doesn't matter what it is, we're obligated to say that, you, yes, you could have an infection, yes, you could damage a little tissue, you could have tingling, uh, you could have a little bleeding, etc. okay? This is uncommon really, because in the penile area, we're, we're fairly superficial and stay away from vessels and nerves, right? So in other words, it's not common to have things like that happen, but there's always that risk, right? So when it comes to the release procedure, uh, we, we make an incision uh, by the pubic area, relatively small, and we have to work our way to, to release the ligaments, and then we put a spacer in. Okay, and then we put a few stitches in and, and that's it. So you have to wait a few weeks for the stitches to heal. Could there be a little bleeding? Yes. Could some discomfort? Yes. Okay, but you have medicines for that. Okay, if you have any questions about that, please ask. Okay, please ask. Now, worst case scenario, is it possible that we might have to take out the, the spacer, which is a silicone block? And just so you know, we put the silicone block in to prevent the ligaments from reattaching. Very important to do that. But let's say for some reason, let's say it bothers you. For some reason, you say you feel something, it feels odd, and it's not the case, right? But let's say worst case, sure, we could always take it out, okay? Or we could swap it for a different one, right? We could pull it out, let it heal, or if we feel it's appropriate, we could pull it out and put a new one in right at the same time, okay? So those are the things that could happen with the release. Now the sleeve, let's talk about that. The sleeve is a surgical procedure, okay? There's, again, a little cut involved. And you know you can get what? Bleeding, infection, et cetera, et cetera. Not common, but we have to let you know about these things, okay? Anytime you cut the skin. Now, the sleeve uh, is a device that basically slides, let's say here's the shaft. We make a little incision by the circumcision line and we slide in the C-shape. It's a C-shaped sleeve made of silicone. And we anchor it, place it in there, put a few stitches in, and you're done. Now, what could happen there? Well, any device you put in the body, like I said with the spacer and with the release, sometimes if we have to take it out, we take it out. Same thing with the sleeve. Let's say, for example, um, you feel uncomfortable with it. It's not common, but it could happen. And you say, well, I'd rather not have it, or maybe a shorter version. We could do that too. But if we have to take it out, we can. Okay, just so you know, worst case, if we have to take it out, we take it out. Um, could there be a little discomfort? Yes, maybe for a few days. A week or so, perhaps, but usually it's well tolerated. Uh, bleeding is minimal. We expect a little bit. It's kind of normal, okay, to have that. Uh, irregularities in erections we've never seen. That's what the release uh, and the sleeve. We're not even near nerves and vessels that govern the ability to have an erection and so forth. So that is is is, is not going to happen because again we're not interfering with that system whatsoever. Okay. Now if you have questions about the sleeve, which is mainly for flaccid lengthening, let me mention that, flaccid lengthening, or the release, suspensory ligament release with a spacer placement for erect length. If you have any questions, we can review that uh, as soon as I come into the room, shortly after you, you see this video, okay? Uh, and then we could discuss it further.